Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Leah Gilmore, and I am the minister for Rachel. Oh, you're at Govins Presbyterian Church Music Mondays. And it's what an evening we have tonight. Again, my name is Leah Gilmore. I am the minister for racial justice and multicultural engagement here at Govins Presbyterian Church. I'm also the first service music director. And we have a great, great time here at our church, a very welcoming, progressive, theologically progressive church. And you'll hear more about that later. But who, who you are going to hear from tonight is Claudia Schmidt. Let me tell you, the first time I heard her, I was at Augusta. We were both at Augusta. We were talking about this earlier before you guys came in. And I sat there and I thought to myself, who is that woman? <laughs> Who is that woman singing like the angel? Her voice is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And you're going to be so blessed tonight with her performance. And it's more than a performance. It's really an offering. So before we start, I'm going to turn it over to Maria Wong, my partner here at Music Monday Land. Maria. Good evening, everyone. My name is Maria Wong, and I am a member here at Govins Presbyterian Church. Um, I also work for the nonprofit arts organization Common Ground on the Hill, which is underwriting support for Govins Music Monday performers. We are recording tonight's program as part of our work as a Maryland Folklife Center of the Maryland State Arts Council. The video will be archived on the Common Ground on the Hill official YouTube channel, where you can find other Govins Music Monday programs and many other videos. While you're on YouTube, also check out the Govins Presbyterian Church YouTube channel, which includes recordings of sermons and the Go Govins Racial Justice Speaker Series. There is a lot of great stuff, so I hope you'll take a look. And Leah, back to you. Thank you, Maria. Once again, I am distinctly honored to get the chance to introduce you to Claudia. But before we do that, we have to wish one of our very wonderful, amazing, hardworking members and she is the co-chair of the Racial Justice Working Group. My friend, the beautiful Julie McDill. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Julie. Ooh. Happy birthday, Julie. Yeah, there you go. We'll hear more about that later. Oh, Mike French, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Look at you. And for Trina. So everyone, let me give you, take a moment to introduce you to this amazing woman. She's a frequent performer on National Public Radio's A Prairie Home Companion. I really, that's one of my shows, I know. I'll never be on there singing that gospel I'm singing, but I would love to. Kind of where we're at, but I just With her smoky alto vocals and multi-instrumental skills, Schmidt has crafted a unique style from the musical traditions of the past. While much of her repertoire consists of original material, Schmidt's work has incorporated a diverse range of musical influence. Her concerts reflect her eclectic approach as well. One critic has observed that her shows are a lot like falling in love. You never know what's going to happen next. To everyone, I introduced you too, and you stay on mute. Claudia Schmidt, Ooh, on the crowd. Yay, Hi. Claudia. Hello, hello everybody. I'm gonna start out with a, a very special song to me. Um, yesterday was the ninth anniversary of my mother's death. And so I was thinking about her a lot. She was a huge supporter and lover of my music and pursuit of art. And, um, and this was, this was her favorite song of mine. So I'm going to start the evening with that in her honor. The broken pieces all are gathered. Things quietly waiting to mend In every corner that pain demands Until it's timely end If all goes well, and you can sing If all goes well, if all goes well You can sing, if all goes well make them whole again if all goes well sorry state of an angry heart poisons the landscape of desire 
And it slams the door on every cry To turn and face the fire Here we go It all goes well more if all goes well if all goes well the darkness gives us time to heal if all goes well we'll find the will and the way to make love Over the threshold and whisper blessings each time we cross. Mend what we can and with the rest, accept inevitable loss. If all goes well, if all goes well. If all Travel on to a wiser place if all goes well. If all goes well. If all goes well. No one loved to laugh more than my mother loved to laugh. And I, I hear her laugh when, when I laugh now. You know, it's like a friend of mine said, the older she gets, she said, I open my mouth and my mother falls out. <laughs> and it sure happens with the laugh. And, and, you know, I was thinking a while back about how when we get laughing, we get laughing so hard that the, that the tears start to flow. And... And the same happens when we're crying. Isn't it weird? It's like we cry for a certain amount of time and then after a while we just start to laugh. There's some sort of strange crossover point that no one can explain. The scientists haven't figured it out yet. <clears throat> um, and it was at that point when I was pondering that that this little piece came out. We laughed. Duh! We laughed till our faces ached. What, at, or why? I can't remember too long ago. But how we laughed. Past midnight, dawn, till our eyes streamed. Laughed at nothing, at pain. Laughed to pass the time. I can't remember such a long time. But I can never forget the good, rich laugh billowing. Where does laughter go? when it subsides, sides aching so sweetly. What happens when laughter's never laughed inside there, stifled into laughlessness so long ago? Where is the dear laugh, rare and raucous its ring, restoring? Chuckle to chortle, I'll bet my laugh I'd have simply blown into bits without that stuff spilling up to carry me flailing to a safe shore. Promise me, in my final flounderings, the one thing you will not let me forget. Laugh in my face. Promise? If I remember nothing else, let it be the shuddering birth to death certainty, miraculous phenomenon. The Mirthquake. Oh, no. Some people can't love from a long, long distance. Some can't love from across the room. 
Some jump up in the morning to glimpse the sunrise. Some snap up the shade to let in the gloom. It's a big enough world, and it takes all kinds the good, the bad, and mostly the in between. I love the people with the happy hearts. Let your heart dance. Now, there are years that ask big, big questions, and years that try to answer them all. There are times too scary for questions when you tumble to your knees and you call. But old time and gravity can keep you way down if you let yourself get out of life. Well, I need the people with the happy hearts. Let your heart fly. Well, take it all in. See where you've been. Let it on out again. Da -ba -ba. You know the times you've been shamed in the silence when you needed most of all to be heard. You've had some loving, sweet as a lemon, taking slow poison from the slippery wood. No one has ever made the last mistake yet or bounced back one too many times. You owe yourself a dose of happy heart or set your heart free. Yeah. Yeah, just take it all in, see where you've been, let it all out again. Yeah, 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 yeah. The only way you'll end up in a corner is by walking into straight up a line. The only way you'll end up by alone is by refusing to give someone a sign. Well, I'd rather feel all bad than just half good. Don't want no doubt that both before I'm through. Bring all the people with the happy hearts on. Let your heart sing, yeah. I love the people with the, I need the people with the. Bring all the people with the happy hearts. Thank you. Thanks so much. <clears throat> well, there's a little musical journey right there in the beginning. And uh, <laughs> so we have been, um, we've been locked away from each other for lo these many years now. And uh, hence the birth of these, these Zoom concerts, which never existed before winter of 2020. And, and, um, when we went into lockdown, I began having these kind of fever dreams. Um, normally, if I woke up with something going on in the middle of the night, I would be practical and go, oh, I have to get up in the morning and catch a plane or drive somewhere. So I would just go back to sleep. But with COVID, like, what the heck? I mean, what was time? And, and so I would just get up with these, with these ideas in my head. And well, so this was right at the very beginning of the lockdown when, when we were all, nobody knew exactly where the virus was coming from and we were all into the, the fomites thing. It's on the surfaces. You know, we had to scrub our groceries. We had to, um, I, I had a friend say, I, I, I never believed my, my hands would consume more alcohol than my mouth. You know, we were, we were washing everything and scrubbing everything and, and, <clears throat> and it was like, don't touch your face. Ah, it, it, we were just like freaking out about this whole thing. And I'm reaching for my beloved's face one day and he said, don't touch my face. And we laughed. We had a good laugh about it. And I, I went to bed that night and I woke up in the middle of the night and I started writing. And I thought it was a little poem at first. And when I got up in the morning, <clears throat> over my morning coffee, I realized, oh no, this is, this is a tango. So I give you, out of the depths of COVID, I give you the don't touch my face tango. <laughs> Step into my room, my every molecule's on fire. You take me in your arms and I am molten with desire. Your clever hands commence their dance with mystic art and grace. Just don't touch my face. You've the power to melt my heart with just one longing look. Fifty movies wrapped in one, you're better than the book. You 
whisper in my ear and I'm beyond all time and place Oh, just don't touch my face Don't touch my face I am beseeching Don't touch my face I see you reaching You can touch me almost any place Ah, oh, just don't touch my face oh. You're sweet incendiary and I tremble when you're near You never fail to thrill me with your beauty, wit and cheer You're moving close, I'm helpless now, my blood and my passion race Oh, just don't touch my face mm -hmm. Oh, don't touch my face Oh, darling, please don't touch my face don't touch my uh uh uh. Don't touch your face. Don't touch my face. Ooh, Claudia, I'm the whole audience, girl. <laughs> oh my God, just so, don't touch my face, but for other reasons. Okay. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Let me just welcome everyone once again. We've had some new folks join us. Welcome to Music Mondays at Govins Presbyterian Church. Govins Presbyterian Church is a welcoming church. We are a anti-racist church by word and by deed. My name is Leah Gilmore. I am, I'm also a singer, so I adore Claudia mm -hmm. from so many ways. Um, I am the Minister for Racial Justice and Multicultural Engagement and the First Service Music Director. And we're so happy to have you here with us tonight mm -hmm. and even happier to have Claudia Schmidt with us for a whole hour. Can you believe it? We're so cool. So you're in the right place, everyone. Claudia. Back to you, girl. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, Leah. Thanks so much. God. Talk about a singer. I got to hear Leah at the Augusta Arts Workshop. I don't know. It was about nine years ago, I think, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah. And, and uh, was just blown away, too, you know. <sighs> sister, sister singer, for sure. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to do uh, a song. I, I actually wrote it. was an assignment song. I wrote it for a movie. Uh, on, on rather short notice, they called me with about a week to go and they described the whole plot to me and said, and we thought you should be the one to write the song, so what do you say? And we saw you're going to be in Minnesota next week, so it was one of those things where anybody who's a self-employed person knows what you say when you get a phone call like that. You go, well, of course I will. <laughs> then you hang up the phone and go, ah. <clears throat> but as, uh, as uh, fortune would have it, a, a beautiful little song sort of dropped out of the sky. It was a movie, and the plot was basically, well, I was a person who showed up, and I, and I was singing for a couple who were kind of renewing their wedding vows, and um, I showed up as a surprise guest and, and sang this song, and <clears throat> the great thing is, uh, you know, I had this deadline, uh, and I never would have written, I never would have written this song if I hadn't had the deadline, and there's, there's a great quote from, I think it's from, uh, George Bernard Shaw, who said, I love deadlines. I love the sound they make as they go whooshing by. <laughs> but in this case, I, I, I coughed it up. I came up with the goods. And, and it's, uh, it's a song called Timeless Love. <laughs> Today, I'll take your hand in mine and make a promise to entwine my life with yours forever and a day It's always done that way As long as lovers seek to be Together till they cease to be So let me say most gratefully That here with you is home to me My dear, I thank the heavens above For sending me this timeless love Our hands are joined to make a vow It seems so basic, yet somehow so small Against a life of ebb and flow Of places yet to know Our joy and tears will light the way Our trust will turn on night to day 
So let me say most gratefully That here with you is home to me My dear, I thank the heavens above For sending me this timeless love Oh, oh, oh My dear, I can thank the stars above Still shining on our timeless love oh, oh, oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you. Thanks so much. <clears throat> well, I, the, one of the very first fever dreams that I had was the it was in February, late February of 2020, <clears throat> and of course, it was the 2020 was the hundredth anniversary of women getting the vote, and uh, and there we were, suddenly in lockdown, unable to get together and celebrate and hoop it up the way we wanted to, to celebrate the vote. And isn't it weird that a hundred years earlier, the vote had been delayed, women getting the vote was delayed because of the, of the Spanish flu, because of the pandemic of 1918. So it was like a hundred years later, this sort of strange paradox thing happening. So um, anyway, I was at a friend's house <clears throat> and I literally did have a fever. I might have had COVID, that was before they were talking about it. And there was a train not far from her house. And it was a train whistle that woke me up. And it was like I had a visitation from one of the suffragettes from 100 years ago who came to me in the dream and, um, and spoke to me. And it's just, um, you know, I think about it. <clears throat> There's, there was a quote I came across a while back from Daisy Elizabeth Adams Lampkin was her name. She was, she was a black woman. She was born in 1884. And so she was a young suffragist during the time of women getting the vote. And then she lived until 1965. She lived to see the Civil Rights Bill passed. She was there for both of those, those bookends of the culture. <clears throat> but in her younger days, she said this. She said, you cannot be neutral. You must either join with us who believe in the bright future or be destroyed by those who would return us to a dark past. I saw those dresses of white I knew the time was right The claim was mine Too long in chains of fear There's no more need, my dear We are so very near To the finish line Oh, we were beaten in the streets We were thrown in jail Mocked and abused But to no avail because the women in white kept marching for the right to vote. Yeah, the women in white kept standing for the right to vote. Yeah, yeah. We tried the middle way, talked to those men every day. But we were sent away with a shake in their heads. What else could we have done? This was for everyone. Our daughters and our sons And long after we're dead Oh, we were beaten in the streets We were thrown in jail Mocked and abused But to no avail Because the women in white Kept marching for the right to vote Yeah, the women in white Kept standing for the right to vote the women in white Day. There's still no ERA. Can't you find a way to be the new women in white? Mm -hmm. Da 
that train is bound somewhere. Now it's you that must dare to journey all the way there with our precious games. Please don't give up the fight to save our hard won rights. But there are those who would put us right back in chains. Oh, we were beaten in the streets. We were thrown in jail, mocked and abused, but to no avail. Because the women in white can march and for the right to vote. Ooh, the women in white can stand standing for the right to vote. Women in white, oh, women in white. One hundred years ago, we won that right. Women worldwide, I see a shifting tide. When you stand side by side, the new women in white. Hey, hey, hey. Why well, heard a train in the I saw those women in white, yeah. Ooh, women in white, women in white, women in white. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Claudia, my lord. I was saying that our, our current president has been trying to pass the ERA because Kentucky was the 38th state to uh, to ratify it, and that was the number of states that we needed to uh, uh, to to actually pass the Equal Rights Amendment. But um, uh, yes, we I, know. Shall I dare utter that uh, if there's some obstruction going on? <laughs> uh, you shall dare utter, and I shall dare utter with you. How about that? <laughs> And we'll just get a lot of nods of understanding out there in the, Zoom. <laughs> yeah. in the little squares that everybody's so happy that you're here. So everyone, um, we are so blessed here at Govins. Our artists, we have amazing artists every week. And all of these artists volunteer their time. They bring their <laughs> energies and they bring their, not just their time, but their years of experience, their spirits, their music, their beauty, their souls. So we would like to ask you, we have a mechanism, we call it a tip jar because we don't have a cooler name yet, but we have, we have a tip jar that we would love for you to um, give to our artists to, for tonight. Uh, we know how the last two years have been on the arts and people who make their livelihood uh, making us happy. So Maria is going to put all of the information in the chat room and you can go from there. All right, starting at 1,000. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, but please be careful. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to, hey, hey, it's all good. It's all good. So um, that's about it, Claudia. <laughs> shall, shall I carry on? Carry on. All right. I, uh, <clears throat> I, t I instead of tip jar, Leah, I've been calling mm. it. Um, I've been calling it the donation station. <laughs> Ooh, you know, I love a little alliteration. I guess that, that's assonance. That's not alliteration. I love, like, some, woo, I love woo, Ronnie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so please give to the donation station. Thank you. <clears throat> we were talking uh, earlier uh, before you all got here about, um, about people getting so mean and ornery about something as simple as wearing a mask in order to help other people and how it's been weaponized and, and politicized uh, in a way that it didn't have to be. And we would be in such a different place now. We would be, we would be healing. We, we, we might be healing the way, the, way, uh, <clears throat> the, the way we hoped things would heal when, when the election happened. <clears throat> and um, so it was the May of, of 2020. I was sitting quietly, was pondering. I mean, that was May when, when every May of 2020, when people were saying, "All right, we're done with this now," and um, and starting to get ornery even then, and mean to people, and uh, conf confrontational, and um, <clears throat> and and this song kind of came to me almost like a receivement. I, I was in kind of a meditative state when it came in, and uh, just trying to to find that center and find a way of calling out to my kindred spirits who, uh, who I, I knew and I know are doing everything that 
they can, that we can, <clears throat> to really bring this thing to an end um, without killing each other in the process. <laughs> so I call this, I call this song my quarantine prayer. <clears throat> I'm waiting, yes, I'm waiting. There is nothing else to be done. But this waiting's a kind of doing. It's a way to help everyone. My little solitude's a way of joining the greater multitude. Of which I'm part. So I'll keep waiting until the way is clear to come together, heart to weary heart. I see the anger. The deep suspicion This is all just an evil plan Our very freedom's in greatest peril If we heed these harsh demands How can we turn away from one another? So many suffering a sad lonely I can save one life by waiting That's what I'll do for you My troubled friend Nothing like this in our lifetime But many plagues have brought down strife and always those who were the deniers who only cared for their small life here's a chance to move beyond selfish gain and rise up to humanity's call and wonder at all the acts of strength and courage great and small the weeks are passing still more are dying so don't you tell me this is just a game chance to find compassion and remember we're all the same not a one of us who's not fragile it could be next and that is why I'll keep waiting until the way is clear Please let's try oh, to come together kindly. Please let's try. My quarantine prayer. <clears throat> Who'd have thought I'd still be singing that almost two years later, right? So some songs you want to be done, you know, you want to. <clears throat> well, I'm going to play a couple of things here. Um, the first is an instrumental that I wrote one day sitting <clears throat> on the shores of East Grand Traverse Bay, part of Lake Michigan in Traverse City, part of Michigan I lived in for many years. 
and I literally lived in the in the middle of Lake Michigan for 10 years on Beaver Island and um, it was a beautiful calm sunny day I was waiting for my friend Sally to show up to rehearse and so I wrote this tune so that we could play it together but also knowing that like 50 60 miles up around the Straits of Mackinac where Lake Michigan and Lake Huron meet there was a big protest going on around line five and and a company called Enbridge wanting to sub double the flow of, <clears throat> of stuff going through that pipeline. And it's an ongoing fight, as it is in many parts of the country. And so it was just interesting to have the, the beauty of the lake, that sort of <clears throat> pristine moment of sparkling, sun sparkling on the water, and, and knowing sort of what's up there, sort of imminent. And so I'm gonna play that, and then I'm gonna go into a song that was actually inspired, um, I, I did it, wrote the song as part of a fundraiser for another pipeline in North Dakota. But, <clears throat> but it sort of uh, harkens back to a, a, a quote that I came across when I read Michelle Alexander's The New Jim Crow, and it was a quote from, from the Reverend Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King, who said, the two most dangerous things in all the world our conscientious stupidity and sincere ignorance. So first East Bay Waltz and then willful ignorance. is 
stance Its consequences are coming due And it's bound to be a shock to you And boy, you never saw it coming No, it was always close at hand I shut tight to the dirty rights And now you just can't understand Every snowflake in the avalanche cries innocence In the end, it's all just willful ignorance And boy, you never saw it coming Though it was always close at hand I shut tight to the death of rights And now you just can't understand Every snowflake in the avalanche cries innocence In the end, it's all just willful ignorance Thank you. <clears throat> I I, uh, I wanted to do a song tonight, and I've always done it as an acapella song. And I, I was inspired to write it after returning from a trip to South Africa, which I got to take, God, almost, I think, <clears throat> probably 14 years ago now, 13 or 14 years ago. It was a long time. But the way time is, it, it seems like forever and it seems like yesterday because it, it changed my life to make that trip. And, uh, and I got to spend a few days of it. I was there for three weeks. And I got to spend a few days of it in this little village called Hamburg. The Germans had been there before, the South Africans who are now living there. And uh, Hamburg, South Africa, right on the Indian Ocean where the Kaiskama River flows into the Indian Ocean. And and I, I was smack in the middle of the singing culture. That's what was so wonderful. And um, I mean, from the time you woke up in the morning and until your last eyelids fluttering at night, there was somebody somewhere in, in the village singing. It was just the most amazing. There was a song for everything. You know, the way I describe it is, I mean, if, if somebody said, pass the salt, suddenly everybody was singing a pass the salt song and, you know, full harmony with dance moves. I mean, I was just in, I was, I was levitating. I was, I was, this is the way I feel life should be, you know, like we're all in a musical and we just don't know our cues. And suddenly here I was in the middle of this culture where they got it. They totally, I was totally at home. It was so wonderful. So I came back and I, and I wrote this song, which um, is a call and answer kind of song. And um, since we can't do it actually together, I'm leaving a little gap because normally if, if I were doing it in the real fashion, there'd be some overlapping going on, but we can't really do that with Zoom. But I'm going to show you how, how it goes. I'm, I'm sing, the chorus goes, I, I sing promising sky. Um, oh, actually, the verses go, I sing a da 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 and you sing, under a promising sky, and I'll sing that, but I want you to sing it too, and then I sing a da 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 under a promising sky, that's the verse, and then I sing, promising sky, and we're walking under promising sky, lightning and thunder, promising sky, here comes the sunshine, promising sky, it's your and it's mine. So normally I'm doing a handoff on that, but I'm just going to throw it out there and sing on anything you want to because what the heck, you know? What else are you going to do in your little Zoom square? <laughs> Every step we take is on sacred ground here Under a promising sky Someone or something lived and died all around here Under a promising sky oh, oh. Promising sky We're walking under Promising sky Lightning and thunder Promising sky Here comes the sunshine Promising sky It's yours and it's mine So we breathe out the past And breathe in tomorrow Under a promising sky Today's just a moment's taste of joy and of sorrow Under a promising sky Whoa, 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 whoa Promising sky We're walking under Promising sky 
sky, lightning and thunder, promising sky. Here comes the sunshine, promising sky. It's yours and it's mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the ancestors' voices try to call us home under a promising sky. But the cries of the children won't leave us alone Under a promising sky Lord, Lord, and it's a promising sky We're walking under promising sky Lightning and thunder, promising sky Here comes the sunshine, promising sky It's yours and it's mine Do -do -do. We're caught between the earth and the heavens above Under a promising sky The best we can do is fill this space with love Under a promising sky Oh, oh, it's a promising sky Oh, under promising sky Lightning and thunder Promising sky Here comes the sunshine Promising sky It's yours and it's mine Do -do 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 -do. I just spaced out in the last verse because I've never done it with a dulcimer. <laughs> Don't have to be an angel, no, under a promising sky. You don't need wings to make a brand new start under the promising sky. Yeah, yeah, it's a promising sky. We're walking under promising sky. Lightning and thunder, promising sky. Comes the sunshine, promising sky. It's yours and once more, promising sky. We're walking under promising sky. Lightning and thunder, promising sky. Here comes the sunshine, promising sky. It's yours and it's mine. <laughs> Woo. I believe it. You I are mean, an angel when you open your heart. That's the line. Oh, That's the line today. Yeah. Yes, so, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm and sure you have touched a lot of hearts in these Zoom squares tonight, my dear. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We're so blessed tonight to be, um, to have our pastor here with us, uh, Pastor Tom Harris, if he wants to unmute and say about 10 words. <laughs> 10 <laughs> words? Yep. <laughs> about 10 minutes? Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Tom Harris. I'm the pastor here at Govins Presbyterian Church. Uh, thank you so much, Claudia, for sharing your gifts with us tonight. It's just amazing uh, for you to be here and to listen to your music. Um, Leah said it before, we are an anti-racist LGBTQ affirming church here in Baltimore City uh, and online. Uh, we have a growing online presence. You can be a part of this church, whether you're in Baltimore or not. We have amazing online programs like this. We also welcome you and encourage you anytime to join us on Sunday mornings in person or online, 9 a.m. or 11. We have uplifting Christ-centered worship that is designed to help people nurture their relationship with God so that we can go out into the world stronger, um, ready to change the world in a better way. One word about being Christ-centered, we mean that in the most inclusive way possible. And so that's the what Matthew Fox, theologian Matthew Fox, calls the cosmic Christ. It's what Thich Nhat Hanh, the late Thich Nhat Hanh, talks about the living Buddha and the living Christ. It's the, the divine light within all of us, the divine light within all creation. How can we nurture our connection to that, our conscious connection to that more often um, and be stronger because of it as a community? So that's what we're all about. We'd love to have you join us anytime. There's ways to connect to us on the in the chat box here and click on links and let us know how we can get in touch with you. Thanks a lot. And come sing with me. I would love to see you here on Sunday mornings. It's a lot of fun. 
and it is a very welcoming place as you can see so um, one more time I'm going to wish our beautiful beautiful Julie McDill a very happy birthday and I know Claudia has something special for you do I have time so, for one more you have time for the one you're gonna sing for for Julie and two more oh I do okay goody okay Goody. Thank you. Let's save the one for Julie for the very end. Yay. So, yeah. <laughs> well, in the midst of everything, um, I'm working on a, on a new recording, um, which is actually uh, a visitation of 12 songs that I recorded many years ago and kind of coming at them at this point in life, which is totally different thing. Any of you out there who sing and have sung songs over time and know that it's, it's like a long-term relationship, you know, and you keep, you keep learning things as you learn about yourself. you you, you bring stuff to the song and, and it's, it's an ongoing relationship. It's a really incredible thing. And so I'm singing them from, from this viewpoint in life with some different instrumentation. And it's been a wonderful uh, project. And uh, this is one of those songs, and I know my friends Richard and Louisa are listening tonight, and, and I know Richard really loves this particular song, so this one's for you, Richard, if you're, if you're out there. It's a song I wrote kind of for our lost friends. I was walking through the broken glass last night and thought of you. Wandered away, your reckless ways have brought you to. My memories of you whirled me back to boiling blood and wrath And I wonder if you've stumbled on a lighter path Did you go out to the desert with the sun hot overhead? Did the dry and the dusty heat make you wish you were dead? Or did the stop and open space is easy your urge to roam Did it make you feel at last like you were home? Or did you go out to the woods where the silver poplars sing? Did the quiet rustling take away the city sting? Did the white birch suspend it Strike the autumn glow Touch your heart Tenderness So you could grow And I was Walking through the broken Glass last night and thought of you Wondered where Your reckless ways Had brought you to It's a fiery Mass of untapped Power surging in Your breast Hope it found its way outside so you could rest What did you go up to the mountains Where the air is clear and cold Did they give you back your tears Save you from growing old Has your hands and your feet Thought gravity all up the ancient wall I wonder, did you lose your ancient urge to fall? Well, the last time I saw you, you were strung dangerously high. All your movements stiff and frightened, and you could not cry. Suspicious of an honest smile and looking for a fight. Lonesome streets, your home, your only friend at night. Now, wherever you may be tonight, I hope you're pleased and calm. With the air around you, soothes you like a holy balm. That your lonely anger hasn't turned your inside. Out that you found a place some of us still dream about. And I was dancing through the broken glass last night and thought of you. Wondered where your reckless ways had brought you to. My memories of you whirled me back to boiling blood and wrath. 
stumble on a lighter path. I hope you have stumbled on a lighter path. Oh. That's going into the way, way back. And now I'm going to go even way, way or backer. This has a part for you in it. At the end of each verse, I sing, bless us both, set us both free. And then the second verse is, bless us both, set us both free. And the last verse is, bless us all, set us all free. I am a dreamer and I am a doer. Bless us both, set us both free. I am a maker and I am a user. Bless us both, set us both free. And I am a lover and I am a hater. Bless us both, set us both free. I am among you, yet I am alone. Bless us both, set us both free. singer and you are a listener bless you both set you both free and you are a baker and you are an eater bless you both set you both free and you are a worker and you are a player bless you both set you both free and you are a blind one yet you are a seer bless you both set you And we are all going, bless us all, set us all free. And we are all smiling, and we are all crying, bless us all, set us all free. And we are remaining, yet we are changing, bless us all, set us all free. And we are all living, and we are all dying, and bless us all, set us all free. Until we come to the song that I want to sing for Julie McDill's birthday. And I chose this song, Julie, because it was first sung to me on my 21st birthday when I was just a baby performer at a club in Chicago and uh, Fred Holstein was the house performer right? and I would open for him and uh, geez I get we're all kind of we're all house performers now aren't we <laughs> with Zoom <laughs> and um, so they had a surprise party for me and that's where I first heard this song which is the only song that Pete Seeger ever wrote for a movie there was a movie that came out I think in the late 60s called Tell Me That You Love Me Junie Moon and so the song has always had birthday resonance for me and it's another song that probably has traveled with me 
further than just about any song over the years, over the almost 50 years I've been making music. But it's an interesting time because you mentioned uh, Thich Nhat Hanh, and I and had written this um, down. My friend Louisa, who I think is listening tonight, shared this with me um, right after we had heard about Thich Nhat Hanh's death, and, and I just love this. He said, you are me, and I am you. Isn't it obvious that we inter are? You cultivate the flower in yourself so that I will be beautiful. I transform the garbage in myself so that you will not have to suffer. <laughs> and there's a, a friend sent me a birthday card a couple years ago. And I just want to pass it on because it's so great. It's these two like, oh my God, these like ancient crones with this long flowing white hair and, and looking like sort of like apple dolls. And they're just, they've got their arms around each other and they're just guffawing and chortling in the picture. And, and the words on the card were, once we were young and beautiful, now we're just beautiful. <laughs> Devil time I'm gonna fool you now Oh, devil time You'd like to bring me down When I feel low My lovers gather round And help me rise To fight you Devil pain, you often pin me down. Thought I'd cry, and I'd beg you for the years. But at that very time, my lovers gathered round, and helped me rise to fight you. One more time, oh devil feel you with your icy hands, oh devil feel you'd like to freeze me cold and when I am afraid. One more time, oh devil hate, I knew you long ago, before I learned all the poison in your breath, now when I hear your lies. Me 
rise Help me rise To fight you One more time Oh, we will rise To fight you One more time Ooh. Oh my God. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Claudia. Julie, do you want to say anything? Oh, we can't hear you, Julie. Unfortunately, we can't hear you. But I will say until Julie can be heard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On behalf of Julie and all of us in this here Zoom room, we thank you so much. There are no words. You have really, you are such an incredibly passionate, personable, genuine human being and that comes out in every note that you sing i'm i'm so filled up right now i'm just so grateful so grateful claudia for you being here this evening i think all of us in here needed that and we needed you and we needed these songs this evening this you know, night can you get my on can you can you uh can, you, can we hear yeah. you now julie can you gratitude is contagious ah uh, yes <laughs> thank you <laughs> 